Good morning, traders. All US uh, indices finished mixed Thursday session. There was two up and two down, though. There was a overall positive bias on a debt ceiling progress and strong economic data. The NASDAQ uh, easily outperformed a, a huge update on it from NVIDIA, which was up 24% in the session uh, after a positive earnings report saw that um, carried that tech heavy index and saw it surge over 200 points. Strong data was also released, easing US recession fears. Jobless claims came in at uh, 229,000, which was just 20,000 under expectation. And, and GDP handily beat forecasts as well, coming in at 1.3% versus the expected 1.1%. Um, this coupled with a seemingly positive progress in debt ceiling negotiations uh, saw pressure put back on the Fed with uh, rate hike expectations for their June meeting jumping to a 50-50 shot now, which is uh, just a few days ago, there was uh, almost fully priced in of a hold there. FX markets, US dollar continued its run up on Thursday, dollar index breaking through resistance and hitting a two and a month, two and a half month high of 104.31. After that positive US data resulted in that, that hawky shift of pricing for the Fed's next move in June. Aussie and Kiwi with a G10 underperformers. Uh, the Kiwi continues to be hit after the dovish RBNZ 25 uh, basis point hike on Wednesday. Highlighting this weakness, Aussie and Kiwi both breached uh, key support levels and hit six month lows of uh, just under 65 for the Aussie and about 60 and a half cents for the Kiwi US. Uh, a, a fall in commodity prices also weighed on the Aussie there. Euro was a uh, softer trading between 107 and 107 and a half, basically. Uh, the reports that Germany's officially entered recession. Uh, however, the, the Euro did hold up above that 107, found some support at the, the lows of 24th of March. Um, there was a bit of a tailwind too from ECB member Knott, who said in comments that there was no sign that underlying inflation is abating and the ECB will hold rates uh, at peak for a significant time. In commodities, gold again took a leg down, uh, breaking the minor support at 1952. Uh, improved risk sentiment, rising US yields uh, on the back of that strong US data really hitting the precious metal there. The, the real, next real kind of major support I would say was uh, around 1935, which is looking pretty likely to test with recent price action. Despite uh, recession fears subsiding somewhat on that strong US data, oil also tumbled on Thursday. Uh, downside began in the European session with comments from Deputy PM Novak from Russia downplaying any further production cuts from OPEC Plus at their June 4 meeting. Also not helped by uh, obviously a stronger US dollar. Um, today's economic news, uh, Aussie retail sales, 11.30 a.m. Australian time. This will be a good test to see the strength of the Aussie consumer. Um, so one to watch for Aussie traders. And later on, we have the, uh, the so-called favoured uh, inflation figure for the Fed uh, with the PC price index. Now, with the Fed, uh, with the market pricing in a 50-50 shot of the Fed's next move in June, this should see some uh, pretty exciting market action on that one.